Okay, so here we are, part three, My the history of my diet, that that's what this is about. And so now I've gone from two years of raw food diet, and now I've switched to the GAPS pro program because there's a digestive issue going on. Um, you know, there's a di That's as much as I'm going to say. There's a digestive issue going on. And the GAPS program... I'm trying to remember. This is all from memory. I did it for two to three years. So I'm not playing around. I'm like serious. I do these things like 100%. 100%. You know, I'm, I don't, I don't just say, oh, I'm on this diet. And then, you know, for breakfast, I have a pizza. And for dinner, I just, I put a chocolate popsicle or top, you know, like a Haagen-Dazs. I, I'm doing these things exactly how you're supposed to. So the, the GAPS program is, a program that is really big on bone broth soup. Okay, so we're going from the extreme from, you know, they, they do want you to have a lot of vegetables, but they want you to put a lot of fat, good fats. They consider saturated animal fat very good. They consider coconut oil, lots of it, very good. They do like coconut oil bombs. I can't remember what they're called. You make these little candies, I can't remember with like the oil with coconut oil and you put something in there. I can't remember exactly how to make them, but they were like these little sweet kind of candy things that you were allowed to have. But lots of bone broth soup, very important. Sauerkraut, you make your own homemade sauerkraut, your own made, you, you buy raw milk. Here in California, in Southern California, you can do that. You buy your own raw milk, you make your own raw sour cream, raw yogurt, raw you, um, kefir raw kefir um with you know kefir with the raw milk you're you're um so you're fermenting a lot of things trying to get those probiotics from all the ferments so you become a master at making sauerkraut with all different kinds of things throwing even seaweed in there so um and and different and fennel seeds fennel fennel supposed to be good for like gas or something so you, you you're doing a lot of things but my family member got worse on this diet, much, much worse, extremely exhausted, extremely sluggish. It didn't work. Lots of effort, lots of bone broth soup. It takes 12 hours to do that. And yeah, uh, lots of fat and it, it wasn't going over. It wasn't going over. This was a a gluten-free diet, just like the other one. The raw food was gluten-free, um, but it was totally uh, into fat, fat, fat. Fat was good because you want to, for your brain and just for your body, you need all that fat. This is what, how they didn't work. And guess what? That 65 pounds that I lost, I gained like 50 of it back. Yeah. And yeah. When I was on the raw food diet, I felt like I could just, well, I felt like I could run around people and they wouldn't even know it. I was going so fast. I mean, I just was like my frequency, my energy level was just out, out of the, out the roof. And then when I went to this diet, because all the reasons I did these diets were to try to solve some health issues because the regular medical system wasn't helping. So here I was, you know, it's like my family member is like, do not put another diet in front of me. I decided to go now just to a cook vegan diet. Started looking online, started looking at YouTubes of, and Googling things about just a, a cook vegan diet, you know, and started doing that. And I had to keep the histamine foods, the avocado down, the lemon down, the citrus down. I had to keep the, what else down? Oh, all the like peppers, tomatoes, um, these are the things that seem to trigger, you know, especially peppers. That, that was the thing that really was a problem. Tomatoes, eggplant, oh, I can't remember what those, nightshades, all those, because they were triggering and giving lots of skin issues. And I found they were high histamine and that might have been the reason. So we did that for a period of time. I, I don't know. It's been like 10 or 12 years or something. I, I don't know. I can't, I'm, I feel like there's some 
years missing from this. Uh, because two years on the raw, three years on the gaps, that's five years, one or two years on like, like cooked raw. Um, now, when I was trying to implement the cooked raw, uh, the family members were like still dabbling in the, the cheese and once in a while ice cream, not on the regular. And I was talking and talking and talking and talking and about not eating those things that they weren't good for you. Um, but then, you know, and then I was like, well, trying to figure out different things. I went to someone named Morris. I got some herbs from, and he was like a high fruit guy, but I just, I didn't have the extra money to go and do consultations and, um, all of, you know, I did get a lot of the herbs and tinctures from him, but it just, I didn't have the straight plan. Now I'm here reading and doing the information with Anthony Williams. I'm not doing any consultations at this point. I'm just reading the information. I'm listening to the radio show, which is the bomb. It's really good. Um, for me, I just getting so much out of it. I'm reading the blog posts and some of it makes sense, you know, because I never got a diagnosis for this family member. And, and frankly, if I told someone all the symptoms, my, even my family members, they would, they'd be like, come on, you're just, you're just making an excuse. You know, they they really weren't able to be supportive because they're in denial about their own issues and about how things work. And they're very, you know, conventional medical system. Like, you know, we went to college and we need to see the, the, the you know, the scientific, um, the testing and the, you know, uh, I, I, I can't remember what it's called, but they need evidence, you know, and if I tell them, look, you know, the evidence that you're getting is, uh, you know, backed by money that is, it's, it's not, it's biased. The people that are saying, like, for instance, eat eggs, those are the pe very people, those are the, the people that, those are like the farmers that sell eggs. So it's like not, you're not getting information from someone who's unbiased. So if I said that to them, they, it's really hard. It's because they feel very insecure then because then your world falls apart because what you're doing is, you know, the government is, you know, and you know, all of, all of what we've learned, it's there. It makes you feel secure. And if you, for one minute think, uh, maybe it's not, the way I think it is, it makes you feel very insecure. Like, oh my God, they don't have the answers. What am I going to do? Almost better to get answers that aren't really going to be helpful and just think, well, okay, I know now that I'm just not going to get well, you know, but a doctor has told me that, you know, I take antibiotics for my acne. That's what he said. It's not getting better. It's getting worse, but, or it's staying the same or I'm having stomach problems, whatever, but it's almost better. Just, it feels more, it's very uncomfortable to think that, but if you're, if you're like me and like so many people that will for a moment think outside of the box, you know, these people, people like me, they've already struggled and tried and some, for some reason they go, the doctors don't have the answers and I don't feel like living the rest of my life like this. This can't be the way life is intended for, for us to live. Okay. So when I look at Anthony's stuff, it just feels right. It just feels right. Is it right? Well, guess what? You know, we, we've tried the celery juice for like, I think it's about three weeks or something like that and we're getting good results and we're going to keep on going i do need to find i want to go downtown to the wholesale market maybe i can make a call or, or email them there's 
I think in each city there's a place where a lot of people buy, a lot of the grocery, grocery stores buy their fruits and vegetables. So you find that area and then you can buy in bulk for discount or for you know, at a discount. Um, and so I'm looking for the organic celery. I, I, I haven't done this yet. I'm going to be doing this organic suck celery enough for like, I feel like celery might go wimpy after I, you know, we've all had this where you have the celery in the refrigerator and then it, it goes wimpy. I got, I got to start another one. This is, I think we're on to part four now. So I'll, I'll make another video.